Yeah, yeah. 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 Long ago, in the not-so-distant town of Walthamstow, London, 2008, a magnificent castle of rich cultural heritage and overbearing dominion boasted dutiful attendants congregating in the beloved pastime of that era, greyhound racing. <laughs> the lights on the sign shined in glory like the pearly gates, blazing in hubris that the moon itself seemed hidden in an overcast night sky. I wandered my way through crowds of raucous, screaming drunks, eyeing my steps like a hawk so to not spill anyone's pint. My right arm was itching terribly, a remnant memory of being bitten by old Lenny in the pine mash shop in the market. <laughs> I looked at the scoreboards, odds of 8 to 1, 7 to 5, and one that stood out to me. 100 to 1 on popcorn bats. Owned by the renowned pub landlord, Ian Braithwaite, infamous in this town for crapping on the sundial at town hall. <laughs> but wait, that race starts in 8 minutes. It seemed that a few of the older gentlemen had already bet on this dog. Many of them wearing big shaggy fur coats or high quality leather, but all with tracksuits underneath. Impulse buyers. <laughs> <laughs> the oldest of them all tapped his nose to his junior and winked. Something was going on here. I looked into the deep recesses of my wallet. All there was, a single ten pound note. And a condom expired. <laughs> and a picture of Rebel from Gladiators. <laughs> that was all I had to lose. Ten pounds on popcorn bats, please. The old bag behind the counter looked at me like I dribbled on her pen. She reluctantly gave me the slip and then vanished behind a cloud of smoke. Her cigarettes had spontaneously combusted. Now, the countdown clock started. The, the rabbit tracks zoomed across and the cages flew open. They were off. My blood was pumping. My adrenaline was intoxicated. I was on the verge of winning £1,000 to cover the medicine for my bite wound. <laughs> Pop on bounced down first, and coming in steadily behind was Moose Knuckle, overtaking Head of the Lettuce with Brown Streak trailing at the rear. First lap done! And then suddenly, a stabbing pain hit me behind the eyes! The adrenaline that so pleased me a moment ago now turned my inner organs into liquid shit. <laughs> I looked out at the dogs, and then the crowd, and then <gasps> the moon! The moon! <laughs> there it was in its majest glory. <sighs> I breathed very heavily. The hair on my hands was growing, my teeth grew, and the crotch in my jeans was ready to burst. <laughs> I looked out at Popcorn Bouncer, who was now overtaken by Bitch Took My Money. No! We trailed at the third place. No! The moon was still there. No! Oh, my transfiguration was unstoppable now. I was becoming a cockney! No! 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 No, mate! No! No! You're having a laugh, it's up! Two sex formers down the boozer on a school night, you rhyme royal princess! <laughs> Bitch got my money spread over the finishing line, claiming first place. Coming in steadily behind were Moose Knuckle, Popcorn Bounce, Head Lettuce, Brown Streak, and in last was Kebab Fodder. I couldn't contain my rage any longer. I reached for the nearest pint of bitter, fitting, and threw it over the chalkboard. Many crusted and distorted faces turned towards me, and I said, Come and have a go, you slags! And they came at me, they came at me with bared teeth and keys poking out their fists. I clawed up and down to and throw back and forth, in and out. It was a bloodbath to make Guy Ritchie cream as Jacobs. <laughs> they grabbed me by the Osa, hurled me down the apples and pears, and laid me out flat like a slutty ironing board. <laughs> I eventually woke up naked in the chippy. <laughs> the sound of Chaz and Dave ringing through my ears. <laughs> Torn Spurs shirts in my clenched fist. And the name Enrique tattooed on my left arse cheek. <laughs> Just below Fiona. And I looked up to see the heavenly visage of Barbara Windsor telling me I was a nonce. <laughs> When the fun stops, stop. Know your limits. 